Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with selections, horse racing selections and football selections for Sunday the 22nd of January. Well, unfortunately, it looks like, well, we have lost Linkfield to the weather. Not too much of a surprise, but I did actually think it could go ahead. But on to the remaining meetings anyway. So the selections are at Newcastle and at Thurles as well. So... For those of you that are interested in the football bets, they are only listed in the description below. So let's get straight on to the horse racing. So I've had a 25 pence each way, lucky 15, and 50p each way on all the selections, barring one of them. So let's get into it. So the first selection is Artemis Flyer at 22 to 1 in the 12.45 at Newcastle, paying three places instead of two. Well, everything's relying on this horse getting an easy lead. It's by the horse was trained by Katie Scott and ridden by Phil Dennis. Well, they've done quite well recently, and it, it's an absolutely awful race. Well, I clicked on the favourite to have a quick look at it, and I, I can't remember off, off the top of my head what exactly what it said. But it says it, it needs to re recapture its form to have a chance. Well, I'm thinking what, well, and that's the favourite. So this is a, this is a terrible race, and this is this horse is only rated something like forty five, but. It does seem to be slightly improving, but it ran a decent race at Newcastle, then it was held up over five furlongs at Southall. You don't do that over over, South, over over five furlongs at Southall. You need to be at, up with the pace. And then it ran a slightly better race last time at Southall again. But if it goes straight to the front and it can get an easy lead, it could hang on for a place. It could even win, but it could hang on for a place. I personally think 22 to 1 is far too big in, in an absolutely dreadful race. We had that horse the other day, Heretic, that won at nines, and that was given the easiest lead you've seen. I'm sure I'm sure you watched it. Yeah. They just let it bowl along in front, it quickened and he couldn't catch it. Well, hopefully the same happens again, but this is a dreadful race. The second selection is Glory and Honour at eleven to two in the one fifteen at Newcastle. I haven't had a fifty P each way single on this, just to keep the cost down, but it only re returns three or four pounds anyway, even even if it wins, and I think I think it's better just to have um, 50p, to keep the bet to around a tenner, to to, um, to keep the cost down. Anyway, we've got 25 pence each way single going on anyway with, with actual lucky 15. So, glory and honour, it's been running, it actually ran over seven furlongs three times, or, well, seven furlongs to a mile three times to get a handicap mark. Then it was messed around, and then it absolutely bolted up over one mile four furlong at Catrick on soft ground well i understand this isn't soft ground this is the all weather but in its description on the racing post it actually said if it handles the all weather well if you go back through its form it's actually ran on the all weather at newcastle and linkfield on the national flat you know how they had these national flat races on the all weather well it, it's actually ran very good races i think it was either 110 or 120 it was rated on the racing post ratings on one or two of its runs well it definitely handles it so it's it's now owned by the horse watchers you, i know you've probably seen i think the own like horses like star sheba and uh, there's a horse at the moment beginning with peace it's it called pistol that's winning for fun well this horse i think it could be it could be a gamble it's, and i think it, its chance would be raised if it was gambled well that's why i've taken the price of 11 to 2 by david o'meara and I think if this horse is ridden with a little bit of restraint, it definitely stays a trip. Well, it's only been running over a mile and four. Well, it ran over a two mile on the National Flat at Newcastle. So we know it stays a distance. So I think it could improve with a step up in trip. And I think this horse would probably either absolutely bolt up or come unplaced. But obviously, it's in each way. But anyway, hopefully, if it doesn't win, it hangs on for a place. But I do think this one could win with its head in its chest. But let's see anyway. The third selection is Strong Team in the 2.15 at Newcastle. Well, I tipped this horse last time when it, it ran a much better race. I think it was at 18 to 1. It's another horse that it could test the principles. It needs one of the principles to underachieve, to, to nick a place. And I think if it bowls along in front, if Graham Lee can give it a lot of... If it can get an easy lead once again, I think it could maybe hang on for a place or even surprise a few maybe even win but yeah it is it's a poor race again and i think it's um it stays the trip oh 
<laughs> it's just been declared a non runner. As you can see, it's adjusted in the rate. Right, let's do this live now then. So I'm going to go to, go to the 215. Because it was another horse that I liked anyway. Just give me a second. I can't believe that. Just literally while I was reading the race, we've had a non runner. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven runners. So literally, I'm doing this as, as, as we're talking now. So I'm going to have to pick a different one. So. Let's get on to the final selection. So the final selection is stand up and stand out at 66 to 1 and the 240 at Thurlis. Well, this horse, it actually ran really well. It ran very free. It was given a race, racing post rating, I think, of either 92 or 97. Well, after racing freely, it's done well to finish the race as strong as, as what it is, as, as what it did. The next time out, it was stepped right up to three mile. And um, it just didn't run a good race. Well, it's dropped back in distance now. Well, I think this horse could be held up and actually grab a place. And it's one of them. I'm one of it's one of the more confident bets if I'm being honest. Six six to one. And there's so many question marks over a lot of the horses. So um, I really do like the look of stand up and stand out. I am not an Irish expert by any means, but I do think if it's given a relatively quiet rate uh, ride, it could. Because even when it went to three mile, it 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 actually got into the thick of the action, then faded. Well, you could understand that over three mile. I think it was stepped up like like three quarters of a mile. Well, this should be perfect for it. So I think it could be finishing very well when a lot of them are out on out on the feed. So I'm, I'm quickly going to pick you another selection. So I have looked at all these races. Right. Just give me a second. Just trying to remember which race I was looking at. Um, 145, right, I'm not going to give you another one. I'm going to stick with what I've got. So what I would do if I was you is the bet comes to 10 in. So, if you want to spend the tenner, add the three selections that I've done, Artemis Flyer, Glory and Honor, and Stand Up and Stand Out, and turn it into an each-way patent, into whatever you want to state for the day. Put the each-way singles on, put them on all three horses now, because I haven't got that there, but what I would do if I was you, I would put 50p each-way singles on all three of them, and then click each way on the patent section, and keep adding the stake, what you want to put in for the day. Keep it minimal, and then um, yeah. So those are the selections for Sunday. So the very best of luck. A, a rather interrupted video, and don't forget the football selections. I'm gonna put a tenner on. The football selections will be in this video as you are watching it now. So the very best of luck, Charlie Winters, over and out. Cheers, mate.